Today, we are going to update the firmware on a Max BR1 Mini. To do this, we are going to access the web GUI, and we do that by entering in the IP address. Now, you can find this on the bottom of the device on the silver label. With most Max BR1 products, it's going to be 192.168.50.1. And the default username and password is admin, admin. And we're going to log in. Now to check the firmware level on the device, go to the status tab. And we'll scroll down and we'll see that 7.1.1. And the current firmware is 8.0. Now, we are going to do this in steps as we cannot go directly to the 8.0 firmware. Now, to find the firmware, we're going to go to peplink.com. Scroll over to support, firmware, and manual downloads. Then we'll scroll down to our product line. And this is the Max BR1 series. So you can search by product. And we are doing the Max BR1 Mini. Download the link. Save the file. All right. Now, as I mentioned, I'm going to show you this in steps. We downloaded the latest firmware, 8.0. But if there's a firmware between 7.1.1 and 8.0, we will get an error message. Before we go directly to firmware 8.0, we need to check the archive to see if there's a firmware between 7.1.1 and 8.0. To find the firmware archive, scroll to the bottom of the page. And here you will see the firmware archive. And search for the product. We are looking for a Max BR1 Mini. Then you can select the firmware version. Now our device was on 7.1.1, so we're going to make the next step to 7.1.2. And now we will download this firmware. Now go back to the web GUI. So now we are going to go and upgrade to the 7.1.2. Click and drag it over. Manual upgrade. As you can see, the firmware is successfully upgrading now. This process can take up to six minutes. On your device, the status light should be green right now. As this continues to upgrade, it will eventually reboot and the status light will turn red. Once the firmware has been successfully upgraded, the status light will return to green and the web GUI will take us back to the login page. For the sake of the video, we are going to compress the time of this upgrade. As this is successfully upgraded, we are back at the login page. So we'll use our admin admin for the default username and password. And if you want to check to make sure that it's been successfully upgraded, we can go back to the status page. And you can see the firmware is now 7.1.2. Now we are going to make the final jump to 8.0. So we're going back to system, go to firmware. Now we already have this downloaded. So we're going to grab the 8.0. And 
manual upgrade. Once again, we are going to compress the time on these sliders for the sake of the video. When the firmware upgrade is successful, it will once again take you back to the login screen. You can log in and check the status to confirm the firmware has been upgraded from 7.1.2 to 8.0. You have successfully upgraded the firmware on a BR1 Mini. The steps will be the same for any PepLink or PepWave device. Thanks for watching.